Well, another 3.30am alarm call this morning. I'm out of breath now. I've come up to Dartmoor. I was going to, as a complete change of plan, because I was going to go over onto the coast this morning. Um, but as I was driving out through my village, there was loads of mist in the valley. And I thought, ah, mist. Dartmoor. So I took a gamble and I came up on Dartmoor. Um, no mist, which is fine, but uh, the sky is nice and clear up here for a change. Um, it's about quarter to five at the moment. You can see behind me the sky is just starting to colour up. I'll tip you back so it'll. There we go. Got some nice reds and pinks in the sky. It's just looking pretty nice this morning. I'm not going to be shooting directly into the sun this morning. Um, I might do a couple of shots, but I'm, I'm shooting film today. So it's, uh, it's all about side lighting. Now I'm up on a place called Sharpator, which is above the reservoir down at Burrator, which is down over my right shoulder. Um, been up here loads of times before. It's uh, one of my favourite viewpoints. Um, you know, why would I come back? But why not? It's, you know, every day is different to me. And I've got a lovely foreground subject just down behind me here. There's a nice big rock. And uh, once, once I get that in the foreground with a nice wide lens, it looks quite nice. And with this light, it's directly off at 90 degrees to me. So I'll have some lovely side lighting. Um, once the sun pops up as well, it's there's plenty of clear sky. So it should be nice and nice golden light and for that reason I'm shooting uh, colour film first this morning I've got Kodak Ektar 100 which is very um, very colourful it's not as saturated as um, some of the slide film that I use like Fuji Velvia for instance but it is pretty uh, it's pretty colourful and I find um, it works really well for this type of thing so I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get set up get this um, shot lined up and then uh, just wait for the sun to pop but yeah it's good it's not too windy and I've got a flask of coffee as well so all's good Well, as you can see by my face, the sun's just starting to pop over the horizon. Not quite strong enough yet on these on these foreground rocks and on the it's leather tour by the way in the distance. They're not quite hitting that yet, so I'm going to wait another couple of minutes. Um, as you can see on the camera, I've got the Debronica set up. I've got a 50mm lens, which is equivalent to 
it's about 28 mil in the 35 mil format I've got the case uh, filter system on the front I'm using a polarizer and a 0.6 hard grad as well just bring bringing it down over the sky just to keep that sky I've got some nice sort of thin thin clouds up there which are catching the light uh, so once this sun pops up a bit more we should be good to go I'm using my trusty Minolta spot meter F again this morning. It's it's really accurate. This thing's great. So I've um, I've got a, uh, a reading of one second at f22. Uh, I've got a polarizer on and a grad, so I'm going to allow for the polarizer. I normally allow a stop, so my base exposure will start at uh, two seconds. Now the light's a bit better now, so I'm going to take another spot meter reading. I'm taking it off this grey rock, which is a mid-tone, just off to the right of me. It's not actually in the picture, but it's receiving this, the same light as the, the rest of the scene. And it's a nice mid-grey. So I'm now getting quarter of a second at f22, which sounds about right. From my years of experience, that sounds like a pretty good exposure. So a quarter of a second plus the polarizer, so I'm going to start at half a second. Flip the mirror up. Always shield the shield the front of the lens. Just to stop any sort of light bouncing around on the filters. fine with print film you normally go bang on the exposure that you get or slightly overexpose normally handles it quite well yeah that's looking nice now It's a bit of a shame about the mist this morning, but uh, can't have everything. I think I made a, made a wise decision to come up here instead of the coast. The coast looks really clear skies, which not much interest in the sky. So there's a little bit more detail in the sky up here, which is good. Um, like I said just now, I'm shooting uh, Kodak Ektar at the moment, colour film. But I've also got a roll of uh, black and white loaded up as well so when the sun pops up another couple of better ten minutes five ten minutes when the light gets a little bit harsher I'm gonna swatch switch to uh, the black and white back I always keep two backs running one with color one with with black and white normally or sometimes I'll have like two black and white films different speeds but it's nice to have that choice to go between the two It's nice to have the uh, combination of black and white and colour when I'm shooting. Now obviously with digital you can just convert it in uh, Photoshop or Lightroom. But uh, obviously with film you've got to shoot both. So excuse me while I carry on shooting here. The light is really good. But yeah, it's, um, it is nice to have that, that combination of the two. Dark slide back in for a minute. Interestingly, the black and white film that I've got loaded, I've actually got in a 220 back. Those eagle-eyed of you might have noticed that. 
Now it's a 120 film and a 220 back, which isn't ideal. They don't recommend this, but um, basically what happens is the the back can stretch the film, so you, you get misalignment of the frames. But I, I tend to I tend to find it's fine as long as I don't keep the film in the in the back for too long. I'm normally when I've when I've loaded a film up, I, I use it up straight away, so it's not in the not in the back for too long. But yeah, that's uh, it is a 220 back, not a 120. Have a little rest bite and a coffee for a minute. The sun's uh, still climbing, but it's gone behind a band of cloud at the moment. So uh, I've got a nice view behind me, which I'm going to set up in a minute. Some nice mist in the valley over there, and there's a view over to Vixen Tor from here as well. So that'll be my next shot. But while I'm here, I'm going to um, do a little plug. Now, over the past few months, I've, uh, as you know, if, if you watch this channel, and if you follow me on um, Instagram and the like, you'll notice that I've been using a lot of the uh, the six by six shots. I love this format. I've mentioned it in previous videos as well. It's it's great. It's I've really kind of found my feet with it after all these years. So I've um, I've built a, a website uh, dedicated just to the film photography, just to my six by six stuff. Uh, so that's by the time you watch this video, that'll be live. The website I'll put a link up above and in the description below. Film Squared, uh, that's the that's the name. It's um, it's going to be a kind of a gallery site, and like I say, purely dedicated to the film photography and this and this particular format. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Let me know what you think. Any feedback's good, good or bad. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to keep putting work up on there, and I obviously will share it as well on on my social media. But yeah, please please take a look and let me know what you think. Right, I'm going to finish my coffee, and then I'm going to set up for the uh, for the next shot. Then. Okay, I've got my second composition of the day set up. You can see behind me here this little rock here. That's going to be my main my main focus. And then in behind that rock, in the distance, you've got this nice little road that trails across. Around here somewhere is Vixen Tor. And also, in between this rock here, right in the distance, you'll see a little peak. And that's, um, that's Brent Tor, Brent Tor Church. So you've got all that in, and plus this lovely sky at the moment. As you can see, the light is it's dipping in and out of cloud at the moment, but it's rising pretty quick, so I shouldn't have to wait too long. So I've got the uh, composition set up, which I'll show you now. As you can see, that nice square, square format. It's uh, I find it really, really nice to compose with. Having so long used the the five by four, um, six by seven, even the thirty-five mil format, where you've got a, an elongated um, format to, to compose in, I did think I'd struggle with this format. I must admit that's that's purely because why I've never used it in the past, but um, I'm finding it so so nice to compose with. It's um, but it isn't restricting. I was going to say it's restricting, but I don't think it is. It's uh, it's different, and it's um, you know some things don't work, but most of the time, most of the stuff I've shot so far, I've I've been able to get a composition, which is great. Okay, here we go. The light's coming up now. Just taking my reading, which gives him gives me an eighth of a second at f22. So I allow for the polarizer, so I'll start at a quarter of a second. So I'm on, on ISO 100. Okay, it's um, it's half past six now. <laughs> Feels like it's about ten o'clock, but um, yeah, it's only half past six. It's uh, 
I've, I've got basically I've got two rolls of film today. I never never go overboard. Um, I don't see the point of wasting wasting frames. So I've got three compositions in mind this morning. The first one that I shot just now, this one, and now I'm going to head over to. If you can see in the background there, there's the reservoir just above the reservoir there. There's a there's a really nice tree, um, little stunted stunted hawthorn tree. And it sits right on the edge of the uh, right on the edge of the or the top of the reservoir, but there's a nice sky behind it. So that's my uh, that's my next composition. So I'm going to pack up here and uh, get down there while the while the light's good. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning. There's no wind at the moment, which is great, especially for recording video. It's really good. I'm really enjoying this shoot. I'm nearly down at this tree now. So I'm currently weaving my way through ferns, which are about knee high. And my first thought is ticks. I hate ticks. They're um, they're a nightmare. You can see in the background there all these ferns here. These weren't here last time I came up. Um, I can see the tree. So let's get down and get set up. Okay, I've reached the tree. You can see in the background there, just over my shoulder. And normally this tree, I um. I tend to get down really low and have the tree up against the sky, but I've noticed as I've been walking here, you can see the reservoir in the background. It's quite a nice composition, so I might uh, might try that from from this sort of distance first. Um, use the 80 mil lens, which is equivalent to about 50 mil, and um, do a couple of shots from here first, and then get a little bit closer with a wider lens. I'm not struggling to get this to work. It's um, you can see the tree here. And in the background, you've got the uh, the reservoir, which I want to try and keep in because the, the water's uh, reflecting the sky. That looks quite nice in the background. And you've also got the top of the tour here, which um, is sheep's tour. I'm trying to get all that in and trying to keep the composition as tight as I can. I'm, I'm using the 80 mil, which is um, let's say equivalent to about 50 mil. Could do with a little bit longer, but um, I've only got the two lenses with me today, so I'm kind of stuck at the moment. But uh, I mean, there is always the option to crop, which I don't really like to do. If I'm shooting film, I like to try and get it right, as right as I can. So yeah, let's try this. Uh, light's looking good still. Well, I'm not sure if that shot worked. I'll put it up now. Let me know what you think. I did take another shot just down over the, over the side of there. There's a nice tree looking down into the valley with the sunlight in the background. I'm out of breath because I've been running up and down the hill. <laughs> while the light was changing. But I'm going to finish off with this tree here. Um, shoot some black and white, put a wider lens on, so I'll get the shot set up and, uh, and let you see what it looks like. Well, I'm set up nice and low to this tree. So I'm finishing this off with black and white, Ilford Delta 100. Nice composition with a nice, um, nice cloud shapes in the sky as well. And the last frame. There we go. Right, well, light's getting a bit harsh now, so I'm going to pack up in a bit. It's, uh, it's been quite good this morning, really enjoyed that. 
it's, uh, it's still only seven o'clock it's not even seven o'clock yet it feels like I've been done a, a whole day but um, those half past three alarm calls certainly catch up with you quickly so yeah please um, check out my new website uh, let me know what you think any any comments are appreciated please subscribe if you haven't done already if you're enjoying what you're watching um, and click the notification bell and that'll let you know when I'm putting up new videos got a load more stuff planned so yeah stick with it and appreciate again your views and your time and your comments and stuff like that so it's, it's really good so yeah I'll um, I'll leave you there and uh, I'll see you on the next one